Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ. I mean, it was just an epic game. I can't believe my game capture card did not save the file. I was pretty upset when that happened because, I mean, it was just an epic game. I mean, look at the final score. It was 53 to 52, and we were at home, so we keep the home winning streak alive. But, man, I mean, we finally get a break in our schedule by week. But then we're going up against USC. We're going up against USC this week. And, I mean, this is going to be a tough game. Number one in points per game. Number three passing offense. Sam Darnold still there at quarterback for his senior season. So, I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm kind of mad that, you know, the other game didn't get recorded. I'm sorry about that. But... Let's hop into this game. You know this is going to be a tough game. We're at the Coliseum on the road with these sliders. I mean, two straight epic games. I mean, it, it's gonna, this, this season is going to be insane. I mean, if you look at the rest of our schedule, how we end the season, I mean, we go at USC, at Oklahoma State, and at Kansas State. And then we have a little slouch game, Kansas, but you know they're going to bring it with these sliders. But then we have Houston, OU, and West Virginia to end the season. So it's going to be tough for the rest of the season. We don't know how this is going to shape up, but let's get into this, man. USC on the road. Finally, our first Pac-12 team, I believe. But let's get into it. Let's go. So Vince Cohen is back. He is back on the field for the first time in about four weeks. And his first pass, he's got a little jitters right now because his first two passes actually way off the mark. So... Here is Sam Darnold coming out, and he's actually first on the Heisman watch in this game, leading up to this game. So we know we're going to have our work cut out for us. So on a third and 10, he's dropping back to pass for his first pass here, but that's going to be batted away by John Waters. And right away, we get them to punt on their first possession, and Alex Brown attempting to get some yards on that one, but that – these sliders really do make it difficult to run the ball. As you can see, USC is stuffing the run, but finally Ashton Cohen gets his first couple completions here. The first to Kevin Oliver, second to Eddie McCray. So now facing a first and 10 past the 50-yard line. This time Kevin Oliver is going to get open on one, in one-on-one -on -one coverage, and you know you cannot guard him one-on-one. -on -one. His route running is probably the highest on the team. So facing a third and five, Alex Brown Inside the 10-yard line, stumbles his way into the 5, inside the 5. And on the next play, Ben Miller gets the touchdown. But wait, this one's coming back. It's a holding call, so the touchdown does not count. So Ashton Cohen has to come back out on a second and go roll out right. This time he's going to find Ben Miller, but stop short of the goal line. But on a third and goal, Alex Brown is going to get the handoff. And he's going to get in for the touchdown. Alex Brown, I mean, he just needs to step up, especially gotcha, since bitch. Cohen's coming back. And right back on the next possession, USC couldn't block LaRue Wiley on that when he gets in untouched. So facing a third and 14, they attempt a four verts. And this one's going to be dropped, tipped whatever it is, and Sam Darnold hasn't completed any passes up to this point, so we're playing pretty good defense on him, and here we go, back out on our next possession, Ashton Cohen giving the ball to Alex Brown this time, getting to the outside, and he puts oh a move on the safety that time, and that's going to be, look at this juke move, look at that move straight, making him look silly, and here is Jimmy Ward spelling him this time, and he's doing a little bit of the same thing, getting past about the 20-yard line. So facing a first and 10, this time Jackson Lindahl is going to get his first reception of his young college career, the freshman. He finally gets in, gets his first catch, and a couple of plays later, Jimmy Ward bounces his way into the end zone. And this is a 14-0 lead on the road versus number three, USC. They are undefeated up to this point. And we're now on to the second quarter. Here is Malapai getting the handoff to the outside after getting stuffed for the first portion of the game. He's going to break another tackle. And Vince Cohen cannot break, bring him down. And Malapai is going to run 
all the way into the end zone for the touchdown, but look at what happened. Bruh. On the last drive, Alex Brown actually got a concussion, so that means that he's going to be out for the game, and Jimmy Ward is going to have to take over the duties as the full-time back for the rest of this game. So here we go. First and 10, Ashton Cohen. He's got to be a leader. Even though it's his first game back, he's still getting uh, loose a little bit, and here he is finding Jamel Cooley on the outside, and Jamel Cooley's been kind of cool. Speaking of cool, I mean, he's been, like, really quiet the last couple of games. Remember, he had that huge game the first week, but now with Ashton Cohen back at quarterback, I think he's starting to get his groove back. Here he is getting another reception across the middle, over the top of the linebacker. Nice throw that time. But look at this. Brad Berry's in the game. Ashton Cohen actually got hit on that play. So he comes out of the game. And on a third down, Brad Berry's going to try to roll out. And this one's going to be incomplete. So we do settle for the field goal. So it's a 17-7 lead. And Sam Darnold is going to start to air it out a little bit. Here he is finding his tight end, Angeline, on that one. Past the 50-yard line and facing a second and two. He's going to throw Bruh. across the middle. How is that not picked off? It goes through the hands of Vince Cohen and lands in the hands of the receiver. So now facing a first and 10 under center, Sam Darnold is going to throw across the middle. This time Vince Cohen cannot get turned around in time. And now it's about two minutes left in this second quarter. And look at that. We we thought Sam Darnold was going to roll out that time, but he's going to find Tyler Vaughns for the touchdown. And USC is going to trim it to a three-point lead. But look at this. Now Cohen is hurt. So now our starting quarterback our starting running back, both out for the game. But Ashton Cohen comes back after a three-week injury. Comes back in, leads a couple of good drives, and now he's back out with a three-week injury. I mean, and he was fully healthy. He wasn't probable. He wasn't questionable. He was fully healthy, and now he comes back and gets hurt once again. So that kind of sucks because that actually happens on a drive that he wasn't even rolling out or anything. Like, he was just throwing the ball in the pocket. He gets hurt. So, unfortunately, USC takes back over after a failed drive that time. Joshua Rich actually had to come in for a play. Barry was a little tired. So, here we go. Inside the about the 40-yard line, they're going to attempt a field goal before half, and that one's going to be nailed through the upright. So, it's going to be a 17-17, basically 0-0 game going into the second half and this is where Sam Darnold starts to get going he finds Jones Jr. deep down the left field left side hash and here we go six and a half minutes in this third quarter Darnold's gonna hand it off to Malapai but this time it's gonna be stopped I'm afraid because sometimes Malapai he can break it but he stumbles and almost gets the first down so they settle for another long field goal and this one's gonna be off the upright, but it goes through, and this is going to be a three-point gain. So Barry has to take over now in the second half, continue what he's been doing the last few, couple of weeks, and at least just be serviceable. But he's without Alex Brown, so it's going to be a little tough. So facing a third and three, he rolls out right, and he thinks the cornerback's coming after him, so he tries to throw it to uh to the running back that time, and. That one's going to be way over. So now Sam Darnold takes over after a good punt that time uh, by Davis. And now he's going to face a third and seven. But he's going to find his receiver, Vaughns. And this time he's going to stumble for the first down. How does he even fall forward on that one? But I guess they take over with the first down. So now we're facing a second down. And Sam Darnold, you know he's got that 99 overall. So all his throws are going to be just like pinpoint, like on the money. I mean, all game long, all his throws have been on the money. But Lewis Parker on third down stops the USC offense, and we take back over. And we got plenty of time left. We're only down by three. This is a winnable game. We have to relax. We're on the road versus number three USC. So facing a 39, we throw over the middle, but now going for it on a fourth and three. Barry's going to roll and throw it to Eddie McCray. And Eddie McCray with that 99 catching cannot hold on to it. That was actually a bad throw. That was actually to A. I don't know who that was, but then Eddie McCray was in the area, so he dropped the pass. So now Sam Darnold comes back out. Two straight play action fakes. So those might have been some RPOs and He's finding his receiver one more time. Tyler Vaughn's 
on the outside. So now inside the five yard line at the end of the third quarter. Can't guard everybody. So he finds one of his receivers in the same area. I mean, those three guys in the same area, but he finds one of them. And now USC blows this a little bit open. It's a 10 point game. But Barry, I mean, there's plenty of time left. There's seven minutes left in the fourth quarter. And Barry this time is going to roll out right on the play action. Find Ben Miller. Nice pass that time, getting the first down. So now past the 50 yard line, facing a third and seven. Six minutes left in the fourth. He's going to drop back, and the pressure's already getting there. But he finds Herman Rogers. Nice throw that time to find the seasoned vet. I mean, Herman Rogers is a vet at this point. So now another third and nine. He doesn't get his feet set. He lollipops that one, and that's going to be a short throw. And luckily, we have Davis, the big foot of Davis. So we trim it down to just a touchdown lead. And now they have five minutes left. And, ooh, that one is so close to being picked off that time. But Darnold finds Jones Jr., and that's what I'm talking about. His accuracy is just so pinpoint. Look at this. I mean, that throw has to be above and beyond Ron Sands on that one. So facing another second and six, we're going to stop him before the first down. So now they're facing a third and two on the pitch play. This time we're going to get Malapai, but look at that. Bruh. He gets the spot, and that is going to be unfortunate. I don't know how he leaned forward, got that spot, but now Sam Darnold in this USC offense is basically just milking the clock. Look at this. Nickel and diming us all the way up the field, facing another third and four, but look at these pinpoint throws by Sam Darnold, and Sam Darnold is definitely doing his thing, showing his leadership. Here he is rolling out for the first time in this game. He rolls out, and he's actually got pretty good speed. He's got 80 speed, I believe, and he rolls out that time late in the game, and look at him. These throws are just like on the money. I'm, I'm playing man. I'm playing zone. I cannot guard anybody, but facing a third and, third and goal, look at that glitch. He should have had the touchdown that one. You know the Heisman likes to cheat, but this time it works out in my favor, but it's still a 10-point lead, so coming back out, I have two minutes left. I have to score twice, so Barry drops back this time, throws over the middle, but this one is going to be picked off. That throw is going to be too far for Eddie McCray. I, Eddie, Barry does not have that arm strength to get it in there. And that's going to do it. USC is going to win this game 37-20. to 20. And look at this. None of my running backs have over 50 yards rushing. I can attribute that a little bit to Alex Brown's injury. Because Jimmy Ward just isn't Alex Brown. But look at Sam Darnold. I mean almost a flawless game Malapai does his thing on the ground and man I mean their receivers were unguardable they just had it going on offense Marquette couldn't do anything I mean it was just a well played game by USC the game plan was there they executed it so hit subscribe hit that like button we're gonna be looking at recruits next video so you don't want to miss that one so let's tune in next week let's go